Yeah, show me, show me. In the Philippine city of Angeles, until 1991, there used to be a U.S. Air Force base. These days, though, many men who are mostly retired flock to the city of fallen angels to make peace and love. As a result, a whole generation of orphan children is growing up in the Philippines as though it was a post-war country. Huge numbers of children were fathered by foreign sex tourists. They have never, and in all probability, never will meet their dads. Hi, Dad. Sana matulungan mo ako pagtapos ng pag-aaral ko. Gusto ko po sana maging doktor. Tapos po, linakanak po ako 2004. Birthday ko po, August 14. Hi, Dad. Ito, malaki na ako. 20 years old lang. May day ko yung July 1, 2000. July 1, 2003. Pinangana ako. Sana magkita tayo. Ayaw naman talaga kaya makita. Pero may German blood ako. At sana magkita tayo. Hi, Dad. I'm, you. I'm Paulina Jane Reliosa. I'm 11 years old. My birthday is January 5, 2004. I'm your daughter. At sana po pumunta ka po dito sa Pilipinas kahit isang araw lang po makasama ka po namin. At sana, ang pangarap ko po ay maging flight stewardess. Sana po makasama po kita kahit... Hi, Daddy. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Sarah charged us a hundred dollars for the night. She's 20, and this is the day that her daughter turns two months old. She continues to work in the bar so she can afford to feed her baby, whose biological father has returned to Australia. Sarah, is it the first time the TV crew films you or like takes you for a night? Thank you. I'm sure. Yung nai naman sa bibi ko, nasing din ako nuni. Eh. Hindi ako nirepata ako nuni. Eh. Sabi ko, what's happened to me? Sabi ko, ano niya yari sa akin? Sabi niya, ibang ko sa yon. Sa yon nirep mo ko yon. Mo magan, tawas na dilin ako na. Nasin nabi sa kanya mo sa ko hindi siya na niliwala. Sabi ko lang naman nung di ko ginagamit na ng kondo nuni. Eh. Sabi ko sa kanya, kaya yung par niya man okay, sige, pala ka. Umalis siya, da, isang linggo siya doon sa kanila, tapos bumalik agad. Tapos doon ako sa kanya nag-stay. Tapos bumalik na naman siya, one month. Hindi talaga ako tataling uuwi na may pera. Kasi minsan namuwi ako lang pera, minsan namuwi mo lang. Muwi meron hanggang 200, 300, hanggang 500 at pataas lang yung apag may, may drinks ako eh. Tapos yun, minsan wala, wala akong nauwi kahit na piso. Hello. Hello. The first time we met Sarah wasn't in the hotel or bar, but at her home. We visited to film her aunt Nelly. Ano mo sasabihin mo sa sa papa mo kasi hindi ka lang makikilala niya? Ano mo sasabihin mo ano? Sino ko tawag ng tawa? Hindi ako tawa. Ano ang babae? Nelly has a daughter too from a Scottish client. Itong baby na to, anak to ni Sarah. 
Pero ako ito nag-aalaga kasi mama niya, kailangan magtatrabaho siya kasi kung hindi siya magtrabaho, wala siya pambiling gatas. Nagkakapag part-time ako, ano, lens cleanings, laba, nakakapag, ano kami niya sa bahay, ang baga, nakakapag bayad, pihati, kami magpipinsan. Pag-uwaki muna ako. Pag-uwaki. Pag-uwaki muna ako. Pag-uwaki muna ako. Pag-uwaki muna ako. Nelly had to quit sex trade because the bar didn't want to hire her anymore. Youth is the only commodity that's in demand here. Siyempre, kung hindi ako mag-extra money, wala kami dalawa, guto mo kami mag-nanay. Yan na lang ginagawa kong paraan, pa-extra-extra, maglaba, mag-tribata. Misa hindi siya nakakapasok sa school, na-stop siya. Siyempre, kakaya lang, mapasok sa school, lahat siya baon. Kutunga nga siya doon, yung mabang bata, kumakain siya, wala, di ba? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H I J K L M. That is George. That is the father of. Yeah. Michelle. How are you now? Pakita mo wag doy. Kaya sabi mo yung pisik to hindi ko malalaman na may laman na palang chanko. Kaya nung katapos na sa buwan, na pregnant si Tisa ko mupala dalawang gohit. Kung alam mo nisan ako ina mo kisilin. Kaya, ngayon siguro pang salita niya yung nagka-problema. Para siyang bulol. Nga, di rin yung mga ano ba, mabugkas yung ano niya salita. Bulol-bulol. Huwag salita ka nito, nagharap ka. Siya, Papa George, sige natin ka itong auntie. Niya, Papa George. Dali na. Siya, Raisa nga. Raisa nga. Dali na. Siya, Papa George. Dali na. Siya, Papa George. Gusto kita maging Papa, sabihin mo. Lalahanin mo naman ako. Dali na, magsalita ka na. Dali na, magsalita ka na. Tag-alog man lang. Kunyari si Papa George siya. Dali na. Papa, tingin ka dito. Huwag ka tumingin sa akin. Okay. Michelle, Michelle, ano pa ang harap mong maging taglakay mo? Artista. Bakit? Bakit artista? Si? Bakit gusto mong maging artista taglakay mo? Gusto mo makilala sa ibang, ng ibang tao? Para maging... Para... CJ, Jenkins, it's okay. Don't worry, makakaya ko yung buhayin yung anak ko. Akayanin ko kahit mahirap ako yung magiging tatay at nanay sa anak ko. Yan lang. Thank you po. Oh. Sana naman kilalanin mo yung anak mo. Yun lang naman eh. Kahit di mo kilalan, supportan mo na lang. Kahit di na ako yung anak mo na lang. Pero okay lang naman eh. It's okay. Matataguyod ko mag-isa yung anak ko. Kakayanin ko magtrabaho. Para lang sa, kakayanin ko magtrabaho ng bar. Kakayanin ko para lang sa anak ko. Thank you. Yun na lang anuhin ko sa sarili ko. Kaya ng mga tulong, para maanuhan ko lang sila, masuportahan ko sila magkapatid. Kasi ayoko matulad sila sa akin, trabaho ko lang. Trabaho bar, waitress. Kasi mahirap yun.
for being so generous to you because you feel that God has given everything to you and that it is only proper that you share something that the Lord in His generosity has given to you to other people. And this is pure giving. From my first day in Angeles City, it felt as though we'd arrived in a modern-day Sodom and Gomorrah, a city where vice is the norm, and that, it seems, is the unavoidable future for the children here. Everywhere we went, we met kids who had clearly been fathered by tourists from all over the world. We wanted to record as many video letters as we could, messages to all those fathers sitting in their nice homes and comfortable cars and thinking about where to invest next. We take on July 1, 2003, 2000, July 1, 2003. 2015. Hello, Dad. I'm going to Jean Lester's story is so surreal that it's hard to believe. His German biological father left him before he was born, and when he was just two months old, the boy was abandoned by his prostitute mother. She left the tiny baby to her transgender neighbor and disappeared. For Jean Lester, Pia instantly became both mother and father. This is my son, Jan Jan. Is ko binigay yung dalawang buwan and then ngano abut ng dalawa ano na yung malaki na binata na. Isipan mo yun sa ilang taon ginugul ko sa buhay ko sa kanya. Yung irap, binhawa, binagay ko lahat sa kanya. This was like yeah. a present for you. Pero <laughs> pasalama nga ako, at least nagkabibi ako, di ba? Napapano. Binigay siguro sa akin ng taas yung dagang. Para sa akin, right? Okay? Hmm. Tapos ko natutulog dito sa chan ko. Hindi mo alam kung anong vitamin o painumin mong gamot sa kanya para yung asikaso ng buhay mo at sa buhay yung magkatuglong, di ba? Hindi nga galing sa lubang kung masakit pag may nangyayari sa kanya eh. Awayan na ng kapitbahay. Sa, nasasaktan ako. Sabi ko nga, yung maliit niya pag inaaway yan, kahit katiting na katiting na katiting na kagat ng lamok, hindi ko pinakagat ng mosquito yan. Tapos sasaktan mo lang, sabi ko. Oo, kayo pa kayo hindi. Hindi yung mga pinakain sa pinagpaguray niyo, tapos sasaktan niyo, sabi ko. Kaya hindi pwede. Paglabang ko yan, kamatayan man, sabi ko. Kaya wala magbantay ganyan no, kuminto sa trabaho ko. Nag-stop ako sa work ko because si Jan Jan, wala kasama, di ba? Wala maggabay. Hindi po sana akong iwan, Pia. Alam, 
Thank you po na inalaga niyo po ako. Kayo po nagpalaki sa akin. At, at Lord, Lord, wag niyo po siya kunin sa akin. Para po, siya po, o, paglaki at sa paglaki ko po, ako naman po ang mag-aalaga sa kanya. Kaya nga, ganun ako minti sa salon. Kasi ayoko yung katulad yung mga batang nakikita ko sa labas, ayoko maging ganyan ang katulad nila yung anak ko. Gusto ko kahit ganyan lang ang buhay ko. Simple, nag-on-service ako. Gusto ko nakikita ko kung paano siya lumaki. Bababantayan ko bawat minuto, bawat oras. Kasi sa pagtulog niya, gusto ko nakikita ko. Kaya nga, kahit na kulang yung... Sabi ang gitin mo yung pangalan. Oo, oh, kahit kulang yung... Kita ko sa pagsiservice kay John Lester, okay lang, importante, magsasama kami bumagapon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mas na ayaw niya kasi wakapag muntun sa eskwela, siguro na iya siya. Ang ganyan, bakla ako doon ba? Ang ganyan. Yeah, siguro yun ang ginaan na rin. Pero wala naman problema, sabi ko naman sa kanya. Minsan na pisinundo ako sa eskwela yan. Yung teacher niya, alam niya naman kilala naman nila ako. Kaya wala naman silang ano. Maswerte nga daw yung bata niya napunta sa akin. Dinala mo siya sa doktor? Oo. Natsaka po siya nung... Ano po, teacher? Para po makaturo ng ibang bata na hindi nag-aaral. Tapos po, tuturuan ko po sila hanggang pang nagtapos na po sila. Tuturuan ko po sila. Tapos pag nag-ano na po ako sa teacher, doktor po. Kasi gusto ko doktor para makagamot ng may sakit po. Tapos para po magamot si Pia. Ano, nagagalit ako. Kasi tinusakso nila si Pia. Hindi siya ta na hindi siya lalaki siya ka babae. Dahil wala mo siyang katulad ng mga babae. Maraming kapitbahay dito na puro anak nila, foreigner, yung tatay. Pagaya nito, yung kumari kong pinakamaganda. Tignan mo naman, yung anak niya, gwapo. Mary Ann is Jan Lester's best friend and neighbor. We soon learned that she too was fathered by a German sex tourist. Tapos po, sa, gusto ko sana pong Barbie, katulad po ng Barbie, may, may bay, may, may imagine ko yung tatay ko po, gisha, mababok niya, tapos po may balbas na po siya, parang ganun po. Tapos po, may balbas siya dito, yung pa ganun po, parang... Ano, katulad ng yung na, nalabas si mama. Nakita akong foreigner, parang pinggan. Tapos para po siyang may Facebook, parang nakikilang. 
Opo. Opo, may, may ano siya. Meron siyang motor, tricycle. Tapos meron pa siyang, ano, car. Ayoko po magtalbaw sa bar. Tulad po ng nanay ko, ayoko pong, ayoko pong magtalbaw sa bar. Yung grade po lang pinagtapos, pinagtapos po. Sana po ma, mag, mag, ano lang po ako magtalbaw sa doktor po ako. Yan lang po. So, kung sino yung, yung kalawa, yun parang yung kinabukasan. Man, ano, araw-araw kung ganyan yung gusto ko, kung gusto kong lumabas. Ayoko yung paiba-iba eh. Takot din ako ba? Siyempre, kaya yung trabaho natin, baka masak, masak kasi yung may mangyari na masama sa akin, yung buinubugbog ako, ganyan, baka, ayoko yung ganyan eh. Tatakot ako kasi may nakaranas na dyan yung kaibigan ko. Tapos may nabalitaan na din kasing sa sa hotel na pinatay yung babae pinuwasok lang sa ilalim ng kama. Then sa American Hotel. Tapos minsan sumasama ko talaga sa mga matatanda kasi yung matatanda ako yung nagki-care hindi sila yung eh, ako yung nagki-care sa kanila. Tapos hindi ako yung ano nila ako yung nasikaso ko sila hindi ko yung pag matanda naman yung inaano ko eh binibigay lahat ng anong nilingi ko. Pag sinasabi kong uwi na ako ano Ibibili lang ako ng gatas, sinatayaan ako ibibigyan pa ako ng pagbili ng gatas.
not know their Mama mo, eh bakit nag yung guguhit kilay ka na rin? Tapos tingnan mo, pula pa yung kyotex mo, ha? Hindi na. Ano? Matutulog ako. Pinagtripan na ako ng kapatid ko, ma. Pinagtripan ka ng kapatid mo? Hindi mo, fix me rin. Pinagtripan na po ako. Okay, o. Sige, di ba? Hindi ka palaging pumapasok. O, paano? Ano yung magiging kinabukasan mo, yung future mo? O. Gusto mo bang batulad sa mama mo? Hindi, o. Ano yung gusto mo maging paglaki mo? Ano yung... Kasi para ma maging doktor ako, para makatulong ako sa pamilya ko, ma maganda kinabukasan ko. We're not working at the bar. I didn't really speak the uh, English, you know. I can... When the guy asked me something like, what is your name? I didn't say yes. No, <laughs> say me. I only know say yes, no. <laughs> When I'm getting 16, so I'm deciding to go starting working at the bar. Mm -hmm. So when I make money a lot, so I help my family. Mm -hmm. But when I get when I'm pregnant to Marianne, mm -hmm. when I know that I'm pregnant, so I stop supporting with them. Okay, last nung nagtanong sa akin na sino yung tatay niya, tapos sabi ko, wala, wala kang tatay. Pabuntis na lang ako, ganyan. Tapos sabi, tapos sabi niya, tapos sa kanya yung tatay mo, yung, yung, yung ano ko nga kinakasama. Okay lang sa kanya. Jennifer gave birth to Marianne after sleeping with a German customer. A year later, she met a local Filipino guy, Arnold. They aren't married, but have now lived together for nine years. Tapos, mayroon ako na meet na nung from US. Tapos, dinay-stop niya ako ng trabaho. Two nights lang kami nagsama. Tapos, sabi niya, ayaw daw niya ako magtrabaho ng bar. <laughs> so, how you feel today? Oh, same thing, babe. Same thing. I went to the gym. Mm -hmm. I went to the gym. Here you are. Graham. It's 11.48. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes, babe. You look tired. Yeah. You want to watch me sleep? 
Huh? You want me to? You want me to? Want to? It's fine for me to watch you sleep. See, that's why I think it's like, it's just, it's just so easy. Huh? Say you're just so easy, you're just so nice. Just That's what I am, babe. Just whatever I want. You have a very, very sweet heart. You're Thank very you. giving. Yeah. Thank you. Turn around and then I can be like <laughs> Is there a lot of people here, babe? <laughs> this right. I, uh Babe, if I have my own computer, maybe you can, right? I have boyfriend. His name is Sean. Ah, uh, tagalog. Tapos hindi siya taong bastosin na di ka tawo ng iba na imit ko na mga bastos. Siya ginagalang niya ako na pinapakilala niya ako sa magulang niya. Na gusto nga ako mamit na magulang niya. Nakausap ko sa ano sa Skype. Sabi niya, sabi sa akin na magulang niya, gusto rin daw niya makita dito sa Pilipinas. Kukunta daw siya dito. I don't know, laging yung logo na serious sa akin talaga. Pero kay Arnold, okay lang sa kanya. Naintindihan niya naman ako. Kasi kung di siya wapaya, ganun mangyayari sa buhay namin. Kaya okay lang sa kanya na dalhin ko yung mga anak ko. Pero ngayon, ano ha, uh, kahit daw dalhin ko sa mga bansa, wapayag na rin siya. Ito yung buhay namin, no? Ganito lang, mahirap. Kaya katanong kahit ko, ganun pa rin, mahirap pa rin, eh. Pero sa sinabi ni Jennifer na dadali sa babasa, papayag po ako. Di ba? Kaya mahirap talaga po yung trabaho. Minsan-minsan lang po may trabaho dito, eh. Kaya minsan wala po trabaho, eh. Sana dad, huwag mo ko ipupunta sa Amerika. Iyon ko po doon. Kahit po maganda yung kinabukasan ko doon, ayaw ko pa rin po doon. Kasi ayaw ko, ayaw ko iwanan dito si, sila papa kong ispit father ko. para maayos din pag-aaral po mga bata. Kung sa kanya po yung sasama, okay, babagay din po ako. Pero sana po yung mga anak ko. Kasi so, pwede rin po makakalimutan yung malaki na po ah. Sana, minsan-minsan din po, pupunta sa lahay. Yung mga lahay. Bababoom! Pero sa mga ginagawa niya sa akin, dati o mahal na mahal ko siya, pero ngayon, hindi na mahal pa rin. Uh, lumipad kami dito kasi gusto ng boyfriend ko magbago yung buhay ko, na maganda yung titirahan ko, ganyan. Kasi ayaw niya na ako tumira doon sa... Ganong lugar na maraming tao sa kamaingay. Kaya gusto niya dito ako para safety daw yung kami makiinan. Maganda yung bahay. Saan malapit sa school? Malapit sa school. Maglalakad na lang. Hindi na ako maglalakad ng malayo. Hindi na ako maglalakad ng malayo. Huwag kang ano. Ang gawin niya, hindi pa nangalito kayo, hindi pa nagdapat yan eh. This is the house of uh, father of Isaac. Black American. Pangit! I know, but I just don't want... Yeah, I know. I just wanna talk to you. Oh, one, just one minute. One moment, please. Uh, the answer is no. You can the answer is prove no. it. The, the one that it's the yours. The answer is no. That's it. Is that all you want? So I need to an an extra for the ano for Isakos. He ha, I need to buy an medicine for him. No, so not? the two thousand is not enough for him. That's enough. 
My God, pangit! Everybody tells me, even here, that his neighbor, he, she tells me that they saw a lot of girls that having an, an, more babies also. He came here for asking and money also support. There, everybody, 2,000, 2000 where, like me, 2,000. We're having an, an only an, every two hours, and then having an, it's time, time. And my turn is 2 o'clock p.m. sharp. If I get late or if I late one minute, even one minute, he doesn't give me any more that one. So I need to wait another month to get the money. It's difficult to say that it's not his. Story. Yeah, that everybody's, everybody, even his, even his neighbor, and even all the bars that we, the girls at the bar that working, that were he, he's always there. They said that it's not gonna, uh, it's you, that's your baby. Because they, they're the same. They, we had the same, same eyes and dimples and all that, all his, I know, his take picture and he said to me, okay, no need for DNA test. I had already plenty of approval for my all my friends. That's my baby, so I just give him. I just give to you and only for just for him. Just two thousand only that I can give. I said, my God, it's not enough. So what can I do? I don't have that much money. He tells. Sometimes he just if we are, I know if we don't have enough water, he go for my neighbor for my friend. He get some water there for a little uh, container. I teach him how to clean even his an uh, a boy. I gonna take care of my kids to for financial and I gonna buy for what they want for the foods and clothes everything that everything the kids need so I just come I just go for here in Angeles to to be a survival for for the life sometimes my friends they just gave me only an Rice for, for food. Everybody they, they help us for if I don't have an I cannot I if I go out there and I cannot find on some money, I just go home without and nothing any even peso or nothing at all. So I just ask to my friends if they have an something for for the kids for the foods. They give me an some little bit. So it's really hard, but I cannot blame for anybody. This is my fault, right? I had an appointment at 2 o'clock p.m. That's why my friends, I already called to her, just come around here and take care for my kids. Because before I leave her, I just go there to meet him. Cause I have to, because we don't have an food. <laughs> okay, maglalabas, ha? And he want also to have an some uh, to talk to you a little bit to improve uh, to interview a little bit for anon that you know me. Yeah. yeah. How is it? Okay, wait. 
Oh, I can't Hi. remember, to be honest. a long time ago. Yeah, it's a long time ago. <laughs> you can take the girl out of a bar, but you can't take the bar out of a girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, what, could you explain that? Well, you can take the girl out of a bar, you've got money. But you can't take the bar out of a girl, because they never change. They want the money, you know? Mm. You understand? I just trust Filipino woman, you know? Oh, you don't trust. Oh, I like. I got a girl there. <laughs> I saw Charlie playing in the street with some other kids. He wasn't very talkative, but his appearance gave him away. Charlie's father's name is Patrick, an Australian with Irish roots. His Filipino mother didn't just sell drinks at the local bar. I look for gin in the bar. And then we, we talk, you know, and then, then we go back and come back and da, 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 da. And then we get married here in the Philippines. Um, I just love her, you know, I just love her, the, the smile. And she's very funny, you know. And then she was very good, very good face. The face was good, you know, but, um, you know. For me, it was, I was, I, I'm happy, you know, happy to be love again because I didn't love love for maybe two years or maybe three years, you know, because my wife, when he lived me, I just want to f kill her. <laughs> but I shouldn't say that, but that's my, my feeling, you know, that was my feeling. Hey, Charlie. Just like that. Can you bring this this girl uh, uh, a a a sweet? Bring. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Two years ago, Patrick had a stroke, and then his young wife suffered the same fate. Jen is just 34, and for the moment, she can neither speak nor walk. Despite everything, though she can still be seen as one of the lucky ones. Her husband kept his promise to be true to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. One of the uh, uh, legs is okay, but the other one is not really, it's not good at the moment. But he will get better. This, this is the plan. We get married 10, uh, 14 years ago. And then I was very f fat, yeah. I was um, 120 kilos, okay? Yeah, I was big, really big. My face was like that, and here I was like that. Uh, Patrick, how old was Jackie? She was... Uh, um, 18 years old. Many girls, that they, they, they have to go to the bar because you have to, they have to eat. Hey, what's, what's going on? You want to eat? Huh? What you do today? Charlie, Patrick, Madden. Apart from Charlie, Patrick and Jen have two more children. They're both grown up. Jen had one of them when she was just 16 and working as a prostitute. It would be a stretch to say their lives resemble a Hollywood story. But all local bar girls dream of a happy ending, just like in the movie Pretty Woman. The, the nurse will come tomorrow, Jen. The nurse? 
the nurse will come here tomorrow. Five, five o'clock. Hindi yung kahit di ba kahit foreigner yung mga maging asawa ko ba? Kahit wala na siyang pera, mamaling ko pa rin. Kahit maging matanda na siya, mamaling ko pa rin. Para ako yung mag-alaga sa kanya. Kung, kung hindi mo ako magkakaroon ng asawa, okay lang sa akin. May anak ko na ako kahit di na ako mag-asawa, kahit di na ako mag-boyfriend or magkaroon ng girlfriend. <laughs> okay lang, anak na ako. Eh. Masaya na ako sana. Kung maalagaan ako pag maging matanda na ako. Kahit walang nalak na dumating sa akin. Pero wish ko pa rin na ikasal sa asimbahan. Magkaroon ng pamilya. <laughs> Hindi lang yung pamilya ko talagang pamilya ko as in, yung sarili kong pamilya. Yung anak ko, asawa ko, yun lang. Tapos ikasal ako. Nakagawin ako. Mm. <laughs> so, pa yung Hello Kitty pa yung gawin ko. <laughs> yun lang. <laughs> Yeah.